In New Cador, the prison service says inmates in six Ecuadorian prisons have released 50 guards and seven police officers they are taken hostage. The 57 freed hostages are reportedly undergoing medical evaluation but appear to be in good health. Officials say the kidnappers were coordinated by criminal gangs, angry at attempts to curb the pa their power. Two car bombs which went off near police buildings in the capital, Quito, have also been blamed on the gangs. The authorities believe that at least one of the incidents could be a retaliation for a police search for weapons at one of the country's biggest jails. Normal activities have now been res resumed in the six facilities, including a young offenders unit which was badly damaged by an arson attack. And citizens in eastern Morocco have attended a funeral of two young people carrying French passports whose relatives say they had shot down. They have been shot down by Algerian Coast Guard forces on Tuesday while they were on a sea trip close to the sea borders with Algeria. They had allegedly entered the Algerian territorial waters by mistake. The Moroccan news agency MAP says the probe began on the 29th of August. In the gate, five persons were on their, on their jet skis and lost their way in the sea during the tour. All necessary information are being gathered to know the exact circumstances surrounding the accident. Some family members and friends of the young people have been heard. And the office of the governor of Istanbul, in a reminder, has warned residents of Turkey's largest metropolitan city that the consumption of alcohol in public places such as parks, beaches and picnic areas is strictly prohibited and violators could face financial charges. The government says the decision was originally made in order to protect the environment and to prevent provoking people visit recreational areas for relaxation. No law clearly prohibits the consumption of alcohol in public places in Turkey, but Article 35 stipulates that individuals disturbing the peace of others under the influence of alcohol should be fined. The announcement from Governor Go has stirred heated debates and instable with some people commending the decision and some others labeling it an interference into personal freedom.